Hey guys, this is Buddy Lee. Back at you with another one. So on this one, we're going to be showing Jimmy how to uh, how to properly use the clutch on a manual dirt bike. So right here, he's um, the bike's fell into neutral, and uh, I was trying to get him to go again without having to kickstart it because he can't really kickstart the bike by himself yet. kind of doesn't feather the clutch enough or give it enough gas so now we're gonna have to set him back up and let me start it so right here I'm getting the bike started again for him gotta put it in neutral Put the clutch out slow so uh, really the key to this is just kind of get him to learn, uh, you know, where the clutch begins to, to grab and, uh, you know, you can kind of feed in more gas and let the clutch out gradually. Just get the feel for it because that's the biggest thing when you're trying to teach your kid how to do this is the feel for it is, um, is, is key, just like on, it, on a regular bike. So he gets that one going, you know, his kind of way of compensating for not really having the clutch down is to give it a lot of gas. That doesn't necessarily always work depending on where you get stuck. If you're in a rocky area, and, you know, it, uh, it has its downsides when you just give it a bunch of gas and you know hope the bike will make it. But you know, riding the bike otherwise, he seems to be doing good. Right here, I'm telling him to stand up, especially on a bigger bike to where like you know he's a little small for it. So definitely standing up is going to help. But for any of you guys out there, uh, you know, looking to get your kid on, you know, a 65 and up, which is pretty much where the manual clutches start, at least on, you know, the, the KTMs and the Kawasaki's, you can stay with automatic four strokes for a little bit longer, but um, I like two strokes and how simple they are, and, and so does Jimmy, so... He's really getting, getting the idea when to stand up a lot more and stuff, so. And uh, this is Trail 1 at Forest Hill, right outside of Auburn, California, off of Highway 80, a little bit in, on Forest Hill Road. It's about, I would say, a half an hour from Highway 80. This right here is the first time he's been on the second half of uh, Trail 1 over there, because you can kind of cut off... Uh, in the middle of it and go back on the road which is a lot easier because there's a lot of rocky sections in the second half of trail one right here he's doing good sometimes he, he forgets he's a deer high but uh, seems to be making it all right right here yeah Jim good job dude so in this section he kind of just hesitated and then he ended up in the side huh Why? How? How'd you hurt him? So we're gonna get him going again. Luckily, this is downhill and not uphill. When we're going uphill, you don't want to stall. He seems to get better at it as we progress yeah, through the ride. Remember, clutch out slow. Give it more gas. So I just hang back to make sure uh, I don't gotta go and start it for him again. Make sure he makes it. He makes it once again, give him a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit too much gas, but he's starting to get a better, better feel for it. All this stuff is a lot more rocky and dusty than it looks, and it's definitely a lot steeper. So, um, the fact that he's going through this, you know, on, on being only seven years old, is, uh, you know, I'm not really mad at the kid. Stand up. Yeah, but once you get into a dirt bike, you know, that, uh, you know, has more than a couple speeds, or like his KTM 50 only had one speed, it was direct drive. Um, you know, just teaching him when to be in the right gear for sure is, uh, is a big deal. He had a, he has a Honda CRF 50F that has three gears, and it's pretty easy, but, you know, there's no clutch, so 
he's in too high of a gear. He just knows he can kind of kick it down and get out of it. But this is a little bit different. You got to be more preemptive. I've kind of tried to explain to him. Right here is uh, definitely one of the harder parts, you know, for someone on a smaller bike. I mean, even when I first started dirt biking, uh, going through this rock area was kind of gnarly, and, and Jim just tackled it. I'm yeah, so he was in too high of a gear, and uh, that's what caused him to stall right there. So he had to get him back going again. No, you got to conquer this, dude. So now he's back going, and I had to catch up with him. Didn't get to record that launch, but no big deal. I've seen kind of enough of him to kind of see the difference in, uh, in how he's been doing it. This particular part right here is super hard, um, especially for a, a, a rider on a smaller bike like him. This part right here, I've stalled my full-size bike on, so I was pretty impressed how Jim just uh, ran at this and, uh, and handled it. Did end up going the wrong way a little bit at the end, but uh, I chased him down. We got him back on track, but man, he just made it through like a champ. I was proud of him. So right here, he has a little bit, a little bit better of a launch. You can tell he's getting better. And this little part coming up ahead is still rocky, and he just goes after it, man. So proud dad moment right here. Definitely, definitely was uh, happy with what I saw. This was his first time going through this stuff, let alone up with a manual clutch and uh, on a bike he's a little small for, and he just handled it, man. So I um, was pretty stoked about that. His confidence is definitely up. But uh, either way, this has been me uh, kind of showing the process of teaching Jim how to, how to ride in a manual clutch, and hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to keep bringing you guys more content. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.